Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by Ghostbed.com. You cool? Yeah. yeah. You cool? Hey, yeah. We're, we're live. We're live, kids. We're fucking live? Yeah, we're fucking oh. live. Wow. Look okay. at that. Oh, fuck. We're like, pull it up on here so I can make sure you did this right. Oh, down. boy. Fuck. Matthew Best is live from New York City. You're everywhere. We, we just saw you on Fox and Friends this morning. Um, where else are you going today? This is publication day. This is the day that you've been waiting for for three years. You know what? It feels great. And I get to spend it with my friends uh, virtually. So how, how, <laughs> how cool is that? Rossi P, <laughs> Danny H, you know, Jared Cat Puke. Taylor, my I, he went man. with the he went with the cat puke. But that's old school. What were you expecting? Yeah. I don't know. You never know. There's so many goddamn nicknames now that I know. I have to ask. I have to ask drinking bros to like, hey, uh, give me some of my nicknames. What are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People are making skateboards out of you. People yeah, made a, a skateboard with, with your skateboard. face on the bottom and Matt's book on the top. Have you oh, seen? this is cool. I'm watching you guys live from my phone, but then it's delayed, so it's really messing with me. But uh, <laughs> put it on mute so that yeah, way yeah, you can put, just you can hear our old, lovely uh, voices. Put the old one on mute. <laughs> this isn't my first fucking rodeo. <laughs> uh, are you nervous today? Because that's it's got to be weird, man. You wake up and your face is it's literally in the in the front of every bookstore in America right as you walk in. I walked in with my children this morning at Books a Million, bought it. My parents were in Atlanta. They walked into Barnes and Noble and bought it right at the front of the bookstore with all the other bestsellers. Uh, was that nervous? You... No, man, I'm not nervous at all, to be honest with you, as far as releasing the book. You know, I've had, obviously, as a group, we've done so much stuff together. But I will say uh, the response thus far from the audio book and people reading the chapters, I was nervous that our cork audience would love it that's really what i wanted that's what we did it for obviously um but the response has been like phenomenal um i've been seeing the audiobook reviews come in and people are like fuck yes so that's so cool getting yeah. that feedback yeah. from the core audience is like that's why we do this stuff that's why you know when we, we have asked them to spend their hard-earned money on projects that we do and then we were and then we reward them with actually good shit uh win-win for everybody man so i'm stoked yeah, and I mean, I, the reason why I asked if you were nervous is typically you put out a book and it's, you know, you make something up, it's fiction or whatever, but, but this is your actual life from start to finish. Your, your brothers are in here, your mom and dad are in here, and then, uh, you know, your best friends that you obviously served with and went to war with. Um, you know, have you heard from any of them saying, hey, hey man, this is really fucking cool? Uh, I keep up with all my team leader buddies and squad leader friends. You know, I think a lot of them during the process were like, of course you write a book, but I know it'd be great because it's you. So, um, no, I'm, yeah, it's obviously nerve wracking a little bit because you put so much of your life out there and we were really transparent with the book and talk on some stuff that, um, people don't know about me at all, but at the end of the day, it's who I am. So take it or leave it. Fuck it. Hey, uh, so yeah, we can also announce too. all of us will be joining Matthew tomorrow in Raleigh from 1230 to 130. Raleigh. And then we're all caravanning down to old Fort Bragg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that just be saw fun. Uh, Topless Stacy just joined us uh, watching. Oh, did well, she join in? Yeah, she just joined in. Uh, she just joined in to watch the uh, live feed. So hi, Topless Stacy. Hey, Topless Stacy. How good are you? Good to have you. Hi, Matt. She's on the news. Hi. Sorry, my phone dropped. We're I'm good. Back. No, it's fine. Yeah, um, uh, let's, yeah let, let's announce that real quick before we go on that. Uh, Fort Bragg, Wednesday, August 21st. We'll mm -hmm. have the whole crew there, uh, Rossi P., Dan, myself, and Jared. Um, and then we're also going to check out the socials because we're going to be signing books outside of base as well at all these locations. Uh, Lewis Main Exchange at August 22nd, Thursday, and Fort Hood, Saturday, August 24th. Come see your boys and say hi. Yeah, man, that line in San Antonio was uh, something well, else. That was wild. My crazy. God, man. I 500 Dude, plus people. I haven't seen like. something like that since like the range 15 trailer release party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That was, Dude, that was I crazy. Was, I was talking that, um, to people, especially Jared, cause he was there and we were like, how fucking cool is that man? And it's not like you have a bunch of like teenage screaming girls. You have like the most well-respected badass men and women in the planet. Like we had border patrol agents. We had like, you know, Marsot guys. There's you had a, you had a senior senior detective from San Antonio PD that was an 80s ranger, you know, back during like yeah. Grenada, Panama times. 
Really? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's why it's, yeah, it's so fun to meet all those people. And, and, you know, people are like giving me credit for staying later than I was supposed to. I'm like, there's no way I wouldn't hang out with everybody and shake everyone's hand, man. Can you imagine if you were just like, ah, man, I'm done with this. Fuck you guys. Dude, the, the book people said, yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, specifically, they said women authors. Like, they yeah. come in and they say, I'm only signing for this amount of time. And they said that it's 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 a nightmare because they'll they'll look at their watch, get up, walk out. On There's the hour. still 200 people yep. that have waited for, you know, the people that are still in line obviously waited the longest. And now they just watch. You don't deserve to have a career if yeah. you're just, like, getting up to leave. For, unless you have to, like, catch a plane or something. But fuck that, dude. For a funeral? Yeah. Like, like yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, you got to know. An, an like, impromptu funeral. Yeah, you those happen all Well, the time. I mean, I, there's no excuse. If you're going no, out no to do excuse. a signing, you better fucking make all your fans happy. Otherwise... That's the last Those book the that they're buying. That buy yeah, that's the last yeah, thing that they buy. Crazy. Like, you're just going to destroy your own fan base. Yeah, especially about your own life. Yes. And you're like, hey, <laughs> no, fuck you. I'm better than you and I got to leave. But but enjoy my life. There's a chapter in the book about how I'm better than you. Read that <laughs> instead of getting my autograph. But I mean, it's got to be crazy to see that many people in line holding a book with your face on it and your name gigantically. And that's the whole reason they're there. Like, I yeah. will say it's a little <laughs> awkward because when you ma- when we made the book cover, um, you know, I was like, oh, this is a cool representation, got a lot of America and all of that. But then seeing your face that much and people <laughs> believe, you're like, it kinda, it's kind of douchey. People it's a little smiling, douchey. <laughs> taking pictures yeah. with it. I mean, yeah, I woke up this morning to just hundreds of tags and people that have their book, their book arrived today, you know, and it's just the pictures are going up all over the place. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, let's Ross. Let's thank everybody for buying the book, man. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, like it, none of this would be possible without you. And I'm not trying to be like, oh my god, but it, it means the world. Like, thank you guys so much for the support. Like, we're right now. We're currently uh, what? What would so we say? Three, looking, yeah. Three look, so looking the at the we're looking at the live charts right now on Amazon. Uh, we are currently number three new release in the entire world. We are currently number eleven overall. Please, let's not finish second again. <laughs> hey to be fair we went against angry birds <laughs> uh, we, so we finished uh second for range 15 we finished uh second for drinking bros live movie uh yeah. let's not have the book finish second as well <laughs> hey we're going yeah we're going all the way on this one hard, Dude, hard back best. <laughs> yeah, if I'm associated with it, you can't get number one. You're always going to be number two. Maybe if Gene Vandenham hey. wrote a fucking book. Oh, yeah. Why know? doesn't Gene Vandenham make an appearance at Bragg tomorrow? Oh, boy. Could you, could you imagine if I went into Ross, full, uh, oh. full costume? Ross, what are you doing? What do you mean? Write a, write a Gene Vandenham book. Yes. And call it You're Welcome for My Service. Yeah. And, Gene, and, 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 and write the world's craziest and military it's, book. And it's, and it's just so douchey and everything's me, 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 So me, it's, me. it's funny, man. When we were uh, when people were buying your book, they were like, hey, man, uh, is Vandenham going to write a book? And I was like, man, actually, I'd love to. And the guy said, uh, in Drinking Bros, he goes, well, what would you call it? And I said, Gene Vandenham, the only American hero. <laughs> and then it's, it's him with well, like no. 9,000 dog but tags in it. his hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could go against my book because hopefully I wrote it as, as humble as I hope it comes across. And then you're just the antithesis of that. You yeah, are like, yeah, you're the opposite. The, yeah. Yeah. You're I, 19 I had a team, but I didn't use cover. them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I told him to stay. I told him to stay back. The dedication yeah. at, the, at the top is to, to myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> you, you, you know, my project I'm working on right now. Which one? The one that I called you about the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get that soon. Yeah, you'll get that soon, and it'll it'll fit. Okay. Well, hey, look, we'll 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 go abandon hand book in a year. Uh, we'll we'll do it. I'll, I'll we'll we'll put it up there with the craziest, most braggish stories oh, it, of all it, time. It, it is just ridiculous. I've got a theory like, that abandon him and St. James Street James are the same person. Uh, a lot of people have that theory. A lot of people like, have that theory. Like, like, we go so deep in this Vandenham book that, like, you're upset that, like, the gunship crew isn't doing good enough, so you end up taking the gunship yourself and <laughs> flying it. Like, <laughs> just exasperated, yeah. like, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> like the most lunatic, yeah, book ever. I, yeah, pretty yeah, much I like any one. The Rock movie. Yeah, All yeah, we got to exactly. do is, is put that into literature. Is, is anybody, <laughs> has any, anybody seen the new Fast and Fury, the Hobbs and Shaw. No. Yeah, because he, no. he basically pulls a fucking helicopter out of the sky <laughs> with, with an, his, a boat anchor. Yeah, with something. a boat anchor in his <laughs> oh, bare hands. Jesus like, I, I like the rock, but come on, guy. You, you know what, though? I mean, I think, I think 
I, I'm not going to sit like they're going kind of India comedy with this. They're not trying to make an action movie. No, no it's, for it's, for it's for China. It's for China. It's for China. Like, yeah, it's like, let's let's go full, you know, India, I don't mind it. Bollywood. Though. I don't yeah, mind it. I don't either. It's yeah, entertaining. It's, 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 it's entertainment. And that's what it should be. It made 400 million in China. So right now they're, <laughs> they're looking alone. Oh. Yeah, just yeah. just alone. Um, and so now they're looking to spin off other characters for other franchises. And then immediately uh, they started shooting uh, Fast and Furious 9. Oh, my God. So I Vin hope Diesel do. posted oh a, a picture from set. Yeah, he posted a picture from set yesterday with him and Michelle Rodriguez. And they're like, hey, we're back at it. I looked up Vin Diesel. He's like 54 years old now. Oh, yeah. Still a street racer, you know? Still a street Once racer. Once a street racer, always a street racer. You know he's racer. got a twin, right? Uh, no, That's really? creepy as shit. That there's another one of those assholes running around out there. <laughs> and no one is keeping track of this guy. He could be anywhere right now. He could be right outside this building. Is it Chin Diesel? Yes. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was Chin Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> Chin Diesel, ladies and gentlemen. Chin Diesel. You know what was funny? When we put up the post on uh, Drinking Bros Podcast Instagram and I said, hey, we would like Chris Pratt to play Matt in a movie. There was a lot of ladies on there. A lot. No, one no, of them no. from Chris, my neighborhood. Chris Pratt would play me. Well, well, and look, he slimmed down. Uh, <laughs> there, was a, there was a woman from my neighborhood who wrote in on that post and said, I don't understand why Matt just can't play Matt. He looks beautiful. He is. <laughs> who's, played, who's played themselves in a movie other than Rudy Reyes and Audie Murphy, though? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I mean, no, Alex Scarlato. I'm going Chris. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Alex Scarlato. So there's three, and they're all yeah. veterans, so you may as well do it. Yeah, you might as well do Clint it. Clint Eastwood's got to stay alive. I still want either Chris Pratt or Jonah Hill to play me, though. Really? Jonah Hill would be great for you. <laughs> Which? No, no, you need Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah, mm. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen actually that would, would be, be great. great. That would be a perfect that would, Honestly, if that happened, like if they, if, they, if this, you know, this book is, is, is doing really well and, and somebody options the movie and they make a legit movie about this, that would be so funny to see oh. somebody playing Matt and somebody playing me. Well, and and <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what's going to happen. That's a weird experience. That <laughs> yeah. That is so weird. Because they have to hang out with you for like six months. Yeah, learn like, every like, move. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, dude, that's great. Think of how bad I would fuck with the actor that oh, had to you play know. me. I'd be like, hey, dude, we're going to have to go work out for four hours, walk 12 miles, and kill 17 deer tonight with no sleep. And you'd be like, really? I'm like, yeah. 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 Give, him some really, give him some really bad and correct these, information. These guys like, every like, morning when I wake up, I rub Vaseline all over my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know whoever it would would be super Hollywood and pervy. Like, to really embody your character, I need to fuck your wife. And yeah. I'm like, okay, you're going to die before this uh, who was uh, Who's Mad, Mad Max? Who am I thinking? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't Tom know. Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Tom Hardy would play a good Matt. Yeah. yeah, but he's too short. I mean, he's like five foot nine. Look, Mark they Wahlberg can make played him Marcus look, Luttrell. Yeah, they That's can make true. him look taller. Yeah. Like, Tom Hardy goes and gets both Matt's sleeves actually tattooed on his body. Yeah, he'd do it. That's a commitment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale could play you at every phase of your life. Um, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He'd, be, he'd, he'd go down to 100 when you were in high school, and then he'd, go, um, he'd balloon up imagine, to 300 Imagine, though, 78. like... Like we're all excited because like Tom Hardy's in the mix, fucking Chris Pratt's in the mix, and then they choose Ben Affleck. <laughs> oh, no, don't put that juice on me. Which Ben Affleck though? That. Alcoholic Fatty Ben. No, yeah, Fatty you got no, you got to get alcoholic Ben Affleck. Dude. <laughs> alcoholic Ben Affleck. Smoking <laughs> alcoholic Ben Affleck. That's your best Affleck right there. That's the complete antithesis of, uh, except for the alcoholism. Yeah. of Matt. He he could grow a sweet beard. He could grow a beard, but he's fucking depressed all the time. I've never seen Matt depressed before. No, I mean, were actually. you saying I have the alcoholism or him? I'm saying the, you ben both Affleck. do. I'm saying you both do. Yeah, but do. we are functioning. You know, we're yeah, like yeah. Ath I, we're alcoholic like, athletes. <laughs> I only drink before like 3 p.m. one or maybe two days a week. The rest, it's like 7 p.m. So that's not really alcoholism. That's just uh, that's functioning. True. That's fair. Heavy drinking. Yeah, that's true. And this is this is what an alcoholic does. They try to make them sound like yes. they're not addicted. To yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Oh, that would be so good. Ben, uh, the announcement. They don't even tell us. The Hollywood Reporter just announces it. Ben Affleck to play Matt Best. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait, what? Like, what? Oh what shit. Fuck? What about what's that new movie uh, with all the kids? Like the new Superbad? 
Oh, that's out right now. Uh, Good Boys. What if we did like Matt Best, but as a fucking adolescent? But it's the same story. He's just doing all that as a fucking teenager. Yeah. So that's what they did with uh, Seth Rogen. It was them in middle school. It's basically the hangover, but in middle school. In middle school, yeah. yeah, And it's a hard R. It's a a, a hard R rated movie with children. And it crushed. uh, Made like 20 million. Although at the book signing, um, uh, this guy and his his kid came up and. he was like, tell him what you were doing earlier. And the kid goes, I was listening to Bitch, I Operate. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's probably one of your kids. <laughs> yeah, who my kid was one of my kids. <laughs> one of the best compliments I got, Matt, uh, from your San Antonio signing the other day was I got about 20 messages that said, not only did you stay late, way late and sign everybody's stuff, but they said you, you went around the table and you didn't sit and you didn't have any security guards, that you went and stood uh, next to everyone and signed every single book and took a picture with, with everybody. Was that true? Did you stand all that time? Yeah. Well, let's just go ahead and say that there were two police officers there because ISIS is real. Um, so they were they were definitely making sure I don't get you know shot. But yeah, no, of course, man. I um that was by by design. I told the publisher there's no way I was sitting. I hate that when it's like you sit and then people walk by and it's like here's your sign, copy later. Like I want to shake people's hands and, and meet them. So. That's just me, dude. Because like, he didn't you know, even go to the bathroom for four just, hours. Dude. Yeah, I've never seen that done before. Actually, at any book signing, ever. you didn't go to the bathroom at all. Did you dive oh, no. up? I, pit, I pissed myself. I pissed my. Yeah, I, yeah. I, he, so lets he, up. he lets a little butt, bit out. I, he lets it evaporate, yeah. and he just repeats the nah, cycle. If you dipe up, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, if you dipe up, you'll be, you'll be good for four hours. Yeah, um, you're not going to get any moisture. Yeah, but anymore. every time I dipe up, I fucking dump out. Oh, is that like a Ooh. reflex? Yeah, it's like once you I just can't feel, help yourself. Once I feel the diaper on, I'm just like, uh. <laughs> so you which were I'm on. excited. I get I get to go see your friend Sean Hannity in about an hour here. Well, he's um, diaped up so for that's sure. Fun. That's oh, really? awesome. Yeah, Sean Hannity dipes up for sure. When does that air? When oh. is uh, the, your Sean Hannity interview air today? Oh, I don't know. Ask it's his rate. Video show, but he was nice enough to have me on, and um, I love me some Sean Hannity. So same, Fuck, get get, yeah. a, get a picture with him so we can post it, man. That's fucking awesome. It's uh, three to six p.m. Eastern. So okay, I don't know when. Right, I don't know right. when on. We'll be show. drunk by then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, may yeah. be dead by then. Yeah, we could. But let's get let's get a pick with Sean Hannity. That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, don't congratulations. Be, yeah, definitely ask him for the pick. Okay. Yeah. What, of the diaper or just no, yeah, no, 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 get no, him no. diaped up. No. Yeah, because <laughs> you did. You also did Ben Shapiro. Yeah, Ben was nice enough to have me his podcast. Yeah, they're kind of like, a, a, or excuse me, um, radio shows. Like they're like you know twelve, fifteen minute segments, but it's pretty cool to talk about the book and kind of expose uh, what we're doing on this crazy side of entertainment to the rest of the world that they they have as followers. And when, and when does uh, Shapiro air? I don't know. It might have already done it. I know that he like liked my book today or something from his podcast page. So shout out to him. Thank you for that. But uh, I'm not sure, man. But uh, honestly, let's. Uh, I'd love if people went out and uh, gave us a review and Amazon a good one and uh, um, made a hilarious one because I know there's yes. all those ones from Range 15. So I got to like sift through there and like give some swag or free shit to people that uh, say some really hilarious yeah, stuff. That, I love it. That asshole out there that gave Range 15 a one star because I fucked his girlfriend. You better not do this on the book. <laughs> <laughs> well if that's the case then like i'm gonna get like 150 uh, stars <laughs> i wonder how many ex-girlfriends Sorry. yeah i wonder how many ex-girlfriends are out at barnes and noble right now like 901 just yeah. opening so, the door yeah what I, do you had, think? I had i had an ex text me and for that sole reason it was like really kind of weird conversation and it's like hey so and i was like i figured it exactly what she was doing so i just wrote back <laughs> it was like don't worry, you're not in the book. She's like, oh my God, thank you. I was going to have to download and Google crazy bitch. <laughs> I was like, you're fine. Like, I'm not. And people oh, look bad. You're fine. That's great. Because it's, look, it's a biography. So I'm sure every girl you've ever dated is going to be like, oh, man, am I in the book? Am I in the book? So, there's a couple in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple am in there. I in the book? Yeah. Am I in the, book? the one in LA, that's my favorite one. So I hope she reads the book. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. You know? yeah. Someday. Someday, someday, stumble across it. Yeah, we won't like reference by name or anything. Okay, we'll Abs- keep that. absolutely we not. Yeah, and because it's not referenced in the book either. We didn't say her real name in the book. So no, God, no. I mean, we changed literally everybody's names and call signs for that sole reason. You know, I don't want to call nine hundred people and ask them to use their like. Yeah. So absolutely not. I did. Uh, I did set him up uh, at the San Antonio thing because uh, I was further back in the line, hanging out with people while they were just standing in line and. Uh, Somebody asked me to sign the book, and I wrote in there, whatever you do, don't ask Matt 
about what he does when he goes to the Burbank airport early. Oh my God. <laughs> so when he opened yeah. the book, I'm filming Dude. it. And he's Dude. like, look, sir, he's looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But yes, you got me good. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I was no, thinking. Jared was killing it. He was running back and forth in the lines and saying hi. It was, it was super cool. We're trying to still like manage how to do with those big events. Like, so you're not just waiting there, but making the line entertaining. Next time yeah. we do one off base, we're I, like, let's grab guitars and we'll like make it fun. Oh, Matt, know. we have a guitar here. I forgot we have we have our one from uh, yes from the live show. I yeah. was playing it last night, so I can bring it tomorrow. Because that's the thing, like it. We did everything. Like try, I was, we were trying to like experiment, like sure. how to do San Antonio, mm -hmm. and I I stood up there with him, and but then found that it it's much better for them. Like if we're just positioned in different portions of the line. So they constantly yeah. have some like shred of engagement as they're going up. Sure. Rather than them trying to talk to all three, four or five of us at once while they're trying to get their book signed. It's good if we just hard point and Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a great idea. I think well, that yeah, works. We'll do that tomorrow. And you, and you can bring the guitar. Yeah. Um, and, uh, how, how long was the first signing tomorrow? Uh, it's one hour in Raleigh, but I guarantee you the Fort Bragg one, we're going to be, we're going to be there till probably about 11. Okay, cool. Cool. Just to yeah, guess. That's going to be a Just long night. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's that, okay. I mean, it's awesome, right? Ah, uh, no, it's amazing, man. The more the merrier. Hopefully we're there till, well, till four well, in the morning. Yeah. Let me uh, look up my schedule right now. It's going to be at Quail Ridge Books from 1230 to 130. Um, it says Pacific, which does not sound right because it's local. So twelve thirty to one thirty local Quail Ridge Books at um, it's in Laster Mill Road in Raleigh. So look that up, guys, and th that's just an hour signing, and you can always pick up books there after. So we're just going to sign a bunch that way people that are can't get on base can actually pick up a signed copy. I just wanted to do that uh, so if people didn't order it online, they can get a signed copy. Oh, that's fantastic! That's fantastic. Oh, that's, nice. We'll, that's nice. We'll, we just got a. A comment right here that said, uh, Jared and Jack made the line entertaining. <laughs> Good. Look at yeah, that. That was fun, man. Um, so who else do you have up, up today? Because I, I know you're in New York right now, and you're doing a ton of interviews. Uh, who, who's on the docket today? Hannity? Yeah, yeah I got Hannity, and then... Uh, Don Lemon? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you going over to CNN? Because I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, surprised. crazy, crazy. CNN isn't picking this one up. CNN's uh, not doing it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Their ratings are in the fucking toilet anyway, so who cares? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it seems like Don Lemon's hands is down people's pants. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch out. My, oh. my, my favorite thing about this, man, is that like going into the week, they tell you what books are coming out this week, what are the hot ones for the month. And since this is, you know, obviously somebody in the military and, and conservative and all that stuff with a, with a coffee company, it's got the word rifle in it. They didn't cover it. So if it hits the New York Times bestseller list, it's going to smack everybody in the face like a fucking train next week of like, yo, where did this one come from? I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> uh, well, that's why, like, I want to be a bestseller so bad. It's not out of my own self-affirmation or ego bump. It's literally just to be a knuckle-dragging you know, pro gun guy that was a veteran for a little bit of his life to be in the bestseller list who wrote a comedy book. I think that it's, it's so powerful that statement because you know how we've done that before and people and all like that own the media that are hyper, hyper left are always kind of like, what the fuck are these guys and how do we get rid of them? You know, they hate it. So it just, it's right. one of those like fun troll moments. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be awesome, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And again, right now, currently on the Amazon charts, number three, uh, and new releases and number 11 overall in the world. Uh, you were just about to pass Michelle Obama today, which uh, is, looks it's the largest selling memoir of all time. So if, yeah. if we could do that, wow. that would be amazing. She's yeah. only been bumped off number one a couple of times, once by Shapiro for yep. a couple of weeks. And I think that's actually it. Uh, yeah, I believe so. I, so. I, I, that's uh, that's just weird to me. Why? Why is that the largest selling memoir? Mar marketing like marketing? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not that interesting. It's said? not that Michelle interesting Obama. of a story like. You were married to a yeah, guy but that she did was something. the first. But she's the first lady, and then you have a whole segment of the country that wants to like live up to that. I, yeah. I agree. I don't. I've heard. I saw to some, be married like, to a guy that, that got elected president. That's well, I think it's no. I think uh, <laughs> the interesting part about it is that he was her law clerk. Oh mm. wow. Which is probably explains why he's such a fucking beta. Right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. So she was a lawyer first. 
Um, yes. Yeah. Well, she was she was a uh, a practicing attorney first. I don't know if, she, if they yeah. graduated. I don't know what they graduated. But hold on, like I'm gonna be. I'll be counter that if I like if D Trump, President Trump, asked me to like you know um, if he wanted to grab me by the pussy and he did, like I would write a book about being the first man for sure. So. I would capitalize. Yeah. On that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. But I mean that you're the first. You're the first first man though. Yeah. There's that's a thing. I yeah. can't wait you know? for the first gay couple to be in the fucking White House. Can you imagine how fabulous that house is going to look? Oh yeah. They're <laughs> they're going to get finally, rid of all they finally get paintings. some renovations. You yeah. know, get rid of these old like, paintings. So 1776. <laughs> hey guys, we, we recarpeted the Oval Office. <laughs> like they keep getting it. so much more comfortable on your feet. Is they keep, it not? They keep getting in trouble. Congress keeps trying to impeach them because they're fucking up the White House. Like god <laughs> damn it, guys, come on. <laughs> yeah. Look, Buttigieg has got a he's got a fighting chance at it so yeah, he'd, yeah. he'd he'd have the first husband how does that work what, what would you call that yeah i think they call it the first husband. The, the, first the first husband. man they don't the call it the man. first wife well, well, I think, first, yeah you're right you're right the first man i think evan could be president he's got he's good in politics so i'll be i'll be the first man to evan maybe that would be fun that'd be funny yeah well i mean you'd have to marry evan you'd have to be his vice president you'd have to be vp obviously no, I'll totally marry Evan. That's totally fine. Okay. My wife would get it. She'd yeah. be like, I get it. Oh, what if what if they're married and he makes him the VP? Oh, man. Oh. oh. Keeping would... in the family. Yeah. Well, what then you, you have that? the Naval Observatory and the White House to gay up. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of great gay in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you get yeah. queer eye to come into that place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do the White Just House make a fucking series out of it. <laughs> Bro, there's my there's my campaign. Make vice presidents great again. I'll yeah. literally just go spend most of my time as a VP with the troops in Afghanistan running direct action raids. Like, they can't <laughs> I'm dude, the I, hey, at, at some point, you I'd know, be the first vice president to die in combat. I <laughs> just, I just mean, at some point, you know, kings used to lead the charge. You know, That's true. they did. Right? They fucking armored up. They had the best armor, and they're like, "Hey, I'm in front." Yeah, Richard, I'm hitting the most. Well, like, Richard the Lionheart died. Uh, Richard the Lionheart died uh, raiding fucking castles on the way back from Jerusalem. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so you're fine. Yeah, you you're can do fine. it. Let's yeah. raid this Why castle. Yeah, there's like they were go- they were traveling back through France. They were like, you know what? Fuck France. We're out of money. We're gonna take all their money on the way home. <laughs> and that's what happened. Well, can you can you imagine though that you're the violent president you show up to base you're giving a brief to like for morale and then you're all like and roger that time to go do a, a patrol hey. i'm leading from the front and then yeah. you just get in the striker and bounce dude that's gangster yeah no you're like putting your body armor while you're giving the brief yeah. and you're you're like you, you get yourself like a dope a dope little shorty m4 <laughs> no, you're like you know, all your optics and laser on it and everything you're like all right let's go Let's go. Hey. I literally, I would have a, a team of guys that were just my ammo bearers, and then they would carry whatever weapon system I want. So depending on what gunfight we got in, I'd be like, all right, give me the 40 mic mic. All right, give yeah. me the saw. And I, would, I, I just get to do whatever I, I want. I would go behind you in a segue because, you know, I don't like walking, but <laughs> I would have, I would have <laughs> a sidecar just full of Gustav rounds. That would be nice. nice. What about a rickshaw and somebody's pulling you? <laughs> <laughs> like two privates are just pulling you. Oh my god! Uh, nothing like a dirty ass rickshaw. Dude. <laughs> but you JT, see... you would be my yeah. You'd be you'd be my cast guy. Yeah. So we would yeah. just have like nine little birds that were you know or dads, Hover, hovering have, behind you. Can you imagine like the kind hovering. of security and cast would be on the fucking vice president in direct action? Going, oh, going. That's so awesome. That's fucking well, two specter well, because, gunships. Because you shit. you pretty much at this point you completely. Uh, de- destroy the the need to have a request system because anything yeah. that Matt would ask for, he gets. I want three gunships in a wheel, like one at nine o'clock, one at six, and yeah. one at three. <laughs> like fuck it, four gunships. I want one at every clock position. Uh, sir, you like, need to call. That's how we, sir, you need permission from a lieutenant colonel the, or above. Like, sorry. no, I'm the vice president guy. I don't yeah, need yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So, sorry to talk over you, Dan. No, it's ahead, hard dude. sometimes. Like, no, but that's how we lure out the enemy, right? We just put out pamphlets that say, this is where the vice president will be on this date. Try to come kill me, motherfuckers. And then we <laughs> yeah. just we just, we just, just smoke show. Oh, my God. Like, you see, down you the see like, imagine 30 strikers online just <laughs> just driving through the desert, like firing the RWS. Just <laughs> <laughs> Mandatory little birds with loudspeakers playing like Metallica yeah. or oh, yeah. or Big no. Operator. Remember, remember in Independence Day one, where they had that fucking outfitted helicopter with the lights to communicate yeah, with them. Yeah. It's just speakers, and that thing just hovers over Matt. 
blaring death metal. <laughs> Enter Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> Junkies of genocide. <laughs> Uh, who sang, awesome. who sang that song? Junkies of Genocide? I have no idea. Uh, I don't either. Uh, Matt, so you're currently in New York. What hotel are you at right now? Black Label Society. Um, <laughs> they put me at the... Was it? Uh, when does this go live? Uh, it's, it's live now. <laughs> we like people okay, outside that... the hotel because it, nothing freaks out New Yorkers more than somebody who's super alpha. <laughs> That's fine. It's, uh, it's the Warwick Hotel is where uh, they put me up. So it's a pretty nice place. The, I got to give it to the publisher. They've been super nice. They even put a card on for incidentals and room charges. So, um, you know, oh, dude, you got to get wild. I'm, I'm drinking that eight bottle water, like dollar bottle of water. Oh, like no. it's going out of style. Oh, uh, that's nice, dude. When they give you a nice little per diem like that, you know, you've made it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, if, if they put you down at the Holiday Inn on, on 55th. That's, I think that is the first, yes, that that has to be the first time anybody has ever taken care of him. <laughs> ever. Like, like yeah. we have we have always been the fucking like ones that, oh, they used to sleep in the dirt. They won't care. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, I actually talked to my publisher that was doing all the events today, and I was like, they were talking about how crazy the schedule and travel schedule was. And I'm like, Dude, did you just do this because my background? He's like, yeah, I, I figured you could handle it. I'm like, you're a dick, man. Because <laughs> I'm, you know, turning and burning every every single day. So it's all good, though. I did ask him if they would fly out a quote unquote assistant because I wanted Jared to have travel with me the whole time, but they said no. So only uh, gonna pay for me. Yeah. Well, that, that's I'm here anyway. That's they couldn't typical. get rid of me. Jared, sir. No, I what? love it. Jared's made this experience so much better. It's what awesome. if What if you adopt him? Thank you. And then you say, I need to bring oh. my kid. Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh. Yeah. But you were already it, starting damn. the adoption. Oh, I've property. already adopted all of you. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> all I needed was your signature. I and love I have it when copies my, of all your I love it so. when my adopted father fucks all my friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, son. wait what? <laughs> well, well, don't worry about that. <laughs> There's a few of them in the room watching right now. Yeah. Though. Yeah. So in, in which room? Oh, in the, yeah. Uh, I'm drinking bros. chat there. Oh, yeah. yeah Hi, yeah. Michelle. Yeah, there's a bunch of people watching and drinking bros right now on the, the, the private group. Again, uh, number three in new releases, number 11 overall Did in it the update? world. Did it update? Uh, it has not updated yet, but hardbacks, hardback copies is the way to, to get up the New York Times bestseller list. So uh, you can do us a favor and get a hardback. That'd be great. And if you're in New York City, you can stop by the Warwick Hotel and wait for Matt Best. <laughs> so sign it outside. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hey, sure, you know, why not? <laughs> it well, is funny, I'm looking on Amazon right now, it's like 35 on mine, but it's got um, all these other like audio and Kindles in front of me, and it's just like, there's like nine shirtless dudes, no shit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven shirtless dudes ahead of me, twelve, thirteen, more, so apparently uh, those romance novels of like hot, young, Justin Bieber looking men really sell books these days. But, oh yeah. But another do. very important thing is is we definitely need those reviews. We need them. Yes. They help they help those Please. charts so much and it really it yes. really does damage. So if you did buy the book, if you've read one page, give that one page a review. Make ridiculous, hilarious reviews, make good ones, make funny ones, you know, please. Help us out. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so this just updated. Let's let's read who's ahead of you here. Uh, Dogman for who the ball rolls. Uh, that's a child's book. You're not. That's not going to count towards your list. Uh, big preschool ABC again. Children. That's not going to count against the New York Times bestseller list. Where the crawdads sing. This has been the hottest book of the year, actually. Uh, but this is fiction. Yeah. So you will not be competing against where the this. crawdads sing. Yep. That's the, the biggest. Is that? How the, is that the hottest thing? In it's the, the year? biggest book of the year. It's, it's, crawdads it's, don't sing, Ross. Yeah, they don't. It's fiction. No. Yeah, but Reese Witherspoon bought oh, the rights, God. and she's also starring in the movie. Oh. Uh, a movie about go. fucking crawdads singing. When the fucking singing? last time Reese Witherspoon was in a movie? Oh boy. She's, I mean, she's, she's in a big little series lies on, right now on really Apple good. with Jennifer Aniston. Uh, the one now the, there is one memoir ahead of you. This is educated. Uh, Tara Westover. Um, she is currently number four, um, but she's been on the charts a while. To Kill a Mockingbird is at five. That's a re-release, right? Because it's uh, schools is back in session right now this yeah, week. So yeah. uh, people are buying that for their kids. You will not be competing against that. Six is a Disney storybook. That is children's as well. Uh, the Great Gatsby again. Uh, school's back in, yeah. so yeah, re-release of that. I like how one of the books that we read in school is all about being a piece of shit who parties all the time. That is funny. Yeah, uh, it taught me a lot. 
The Outsiders, S.E. Oh, wow. Hinton. There you go. Um, that is on there as well. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury really? is up there. Is yep. that back in school now? It is, yes. Uh, and then what should Danny do a kid's book? So by my calculations here, you got Matt Best at 11. Thank you for my service. By my calculations here, you're number two then um, on the overall list for nonfiction books. Mm-hmm. There's only one person ahead of you right now. Uh, if we could bump ahead of that, uh, it's going to take a hardback purchase to do it. That would be amazing. And that, that, that's a no, strong indicator. No, we just indicator. leave it at number two. We just leave it at number no, two. Uh, and, can't. and always come in second. You know? Never again. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it, man. Uh, I can't do it. Number See, two again. See, you know, I, I think, I think uh, I'm going back to the Reese Witherspoon thing. Like, I think they should just replace her with Dakota Fanning. Uh, you know, who, Reese, Reese Witherspoon? Yeah, she yeah. got old. And then replace her re- in life, you mean? Yeah. She still looks great. <laughs> uh, Reese Witherspoon? Are you still, are, do you still do your wreath Witherspoon Oh, yeah, tradition? Every, every, year. every year. I put every up year. my wreath Witherspoon of wreath. all of her heads Yeah, yeah, yeah. on, on, yeah. Uh, on for great. Christmas. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, she's got that show with Jennifer Aniston coming out on Apple, too. Uh, you know, I'm not, in, I'm not I haven't been so looking forward to that. She's on fire. So she's got a book club. So this Where the Crawdads Sing was her favorite book of the year, this, this fiction book. Yep. And uh, she put it on her book club, also Option the Rights, and she's going to star in the movie. So you do Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Correct. And then you do Jimmy Tree. Like, so when your kids start going to actual school, not just kindergarten, yep. they're going to start telling stories about their Christmas. And oh, yeah. They're going to be ostracized completely, immediately. Probably. Oh, I mean, we're, we're about to experience that this week because Charlotte's project this week is to get up in front of class and talk about who lives at her house. Uh, <laughs> well, it stands one now. At least. Wow, that is courageous. <laughs> How, Matt, have you been to Jared's new house? Who who does live there? Me. Oh, J- J- Jared knows better. I don't know. I've been there. It's a wonderful house. They're doing a lot of remodeling. It's it's wonderful. I mean, he got it. He stole that thing from what it's worth because you just got to do a um, bunch of you know fixer and up and stuff, but. It's a cool place, man. His pool's awesome. I always stop by there for like 15 minutes and jump in. <laughs> it's great. 15 minutes. The you pool. take a dip and then yeah. get the fuck it's out like, of there. Hey, what's up? I it's, do. Because it's cool. He like tries to feed me a white claw and I jump in there. I usually just take a shot of Jameson and then be on my way. I've got two cases of white claw back at my place. By what, the way. Why did you bring oh. it here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't we know we got a ton of it. We got a ton of it. Yeah, They're we... actually sponsoring our live show in Orlando on Friday night. Oh, beautiful. White Claws. I'm so glad. Um, so, yeah, yeah, the whole the show, show has to be <laughs> dedicated to White Claws. I, swear I to can't God. wait. Is that You true? guys need yeah. to dress like Chads. They you s- need to go full Chad. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We, we, do you want to go pop collar? Well, here's the thing. So, we decided to throw a house party, right? Yeah, Which I've we've seen never it. done. I've seen it. And yeah. uh, I don't know if, if, if he knows what he's in for in Orlando, Florida, but we said, look, Buy a copy of the hardback uh, for thank you for my service. And then we'll be there to sign copies on Friday night. Um, and then there's also a special guest that he doesn't know is going to happen. No one knows except for the two of us. Yes. Um, and it is. But I'll tell you when we're done here. Yeah. All right. I it's, can't wait. It's rough. It's oh, that's crazy. A good one. So, yeah, come yeah. down, buy, buy a copy of the book. We'll sign it there. Um, and that's going to be a fucking blast. Uh, so and you, you guys are moving on. Where are you guys going after? Uh, tell everybody where, where the book tour is headed after tomorrow, Matt. Yeah, um, well, I read that earlier, so it will be. I'll shoot up to Fort Lewis and then um, on to Fort Hood. So if you want to go to my Instagram, uh, Matt Best Official, you'll see the featured stories, and that will give you the exact locations for those. And they're also dates on and my times, Facebook page. Everything, yeah. Okay, dates yeah, and times. Yeah, my Facebook page yeah. as well. Yep. And then for anybody listening for, for to make the list, the New York Times bestseller list, we have six more days. So you have six days to buy a hardback, and uh, and that'll jolt us up there. I my again, my guess right now is that you're number two uh, in the world. And buying one from a bookstore counts heavier than ordering one. From yeah, if you does. go to a bookstore, guys, that that's phenomenal because they have a really weird ranking system where e-com purchases are ranked significantly lower than. Um, you know, a locally owned Barnes and Noble or, or whatever. By the time I made it into books a million this morning, half the copies were already purchased, which was awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. So on, on the new release table, uh, and again, with all these bestsellers, it was on the, it's on the front table as soon as you walk into Barnes and Noble or books a million, but half, half of them were already purchased. Uh, and I probably got there maybe an hour after opening. So I lost it here in the feed, but one of the uh, a woman that's in Drink It Bros says she works at a Barnes and Noble, and she's been throughout the day today pushing it on her customers that are going through line and shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please do! That's great. Yeah. That's so she's cool. She's awesome. I can't so cool. I can't find her name in here. Oh, Drinking Bros. <laughs> yeah, f- find her name. That'd be that'd be awesome. Drinking bro. And then what we'll do is we'll release this as a special emergency episode as soon as we get off, Matt. So that way 
This will go out to the the masses here uh, while Jared's in town. Yeah, uh, but it's pretty pretty fucking cool, man, that we're able to do this live on opening day. Uh, while Matt's yeah, in it worked York. out. I had a couple of hours off. I appreciate it. Brandon, we just called you guys and was you know, like, let's do a show. Fuck yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I missed the the GB, so it's good to good to hang out with you guys. No, nah, it's gonna be awesome, man. We're looking forward to tomorrow too. Uh, what happens if you do hit number one? I mean, where where do you go from there after this? Have you thought about what you want to do next after the book's out and everything? Uh, um, we got a couple projects in, in the works. You know, Jared and I got a few ideas. Eli and I have been working on an idea. So, dude, just keep the grind, man. Um, I'm, You know me. I'm, I get so bored so quick that I'm not here to, like, talk about if I hit a bestseller list or number one and, you know, brag about it. Literally just what's the next project. Yeah. Let's go yeah. create we decided, fun and value we just, people. We decided on an album. Really? Yeah. 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 We're gonna do an album. Fucking yeah. a. Finally. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna take some time off in the studio and do it? Yep. Yep. That's I great. Mean, we yeah. We're thinking we probably it's like down. a week and a half, yeah. and just go for it. Yeah. That, oh, that'd be awesome, man. Yeah. Are and, you gonna get that same studio with that guy? Oh yeah. You Please. Know, he's he was great. the best. Yeah. He was awesome. Did you like that guy, Matt? That we we did the pussy whistle song with? Hey, the song turned out good, and he was super entertaining. So <laughs> like, yeah, it worked for me. I loved his wig. Great wig. Because <laughs> then you can do a documentary about the making of the album and release yeah. it. Oh, and, shit. Uh, uh, and then have that guy in there. Imagine sitting down with him for an hour. Why don't you let me interview him for an hour while you guys are recording the album? Why don't you guys yeah. do mushrooms and then you record him? <laughs> oh, boy. You know, fuck that. You know what we should do? We should find a drinking bro that owns a studio, and that's what they do profession, and we go yeah. out there and cut an yeah. album with and, a drinking and bro. Let's and let's hire a producer just... that, that's, that's got a lot of personality, and we, he's right. We, we document this whole process of creating the album and then release it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm finding more and more that, like, unless you hire drinking bros, I just don't trust normal people anymore. There was a, there was a post that you liked, Matt, that I liked. There was a guy who's making tables out of, uh, uh, fuck, whiskey barrels? Yeah, yeah, those were awesome. Dude, I hit him up to buy a, buy a table. He's making it now. His name is Kelly D. Um, and uh, you were like, yo, where can I get one? So I'll let you know how it turns out. Yeah, they look super cool. I always like seeing what projects Dream Bros are working on and stuff. So after I, this tour comes down, I'll probably reach out and buy one from them. Yeah, man. Uh, you, you should, Jared, you should buy one for your bar. They're kick ass. The the tables. Yeah, yeah, or the outer the pool area. I need I need a couple tables. You know. Yeah, yeah, and it's got like built in shelves for liquor oh, and all that cool. shit inside cool. the barrel. Yeah. Uh, so I you, mean, I, I think I have enough liquor storage in the bar right now. You guys saw the pictures. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Uh, by, by the way, do you know Jared's house is called Murder Mansion? I do. Well, I mean, he kind of took my idea of always that wanted wasn't to say me. Murder, 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 yeah. uh, murder Ranch was always what I wanted for uh, my hunting lease. But you know, I think what Katie said that yeah, they it came. It came because there. <laughs> she assumed somebody was murdered in the house because it was yeah. so cheap. I think it's more likely like, that someone's going to be murdered in that house. Yeah. <laughs> no. Probably you, actually. Is Jeremy is Jeremy May living there? Yeah. Yeah. I can see him murdering somebody super late. Oh yeah. He's he he's been on the show before. He's How got, crazy was that show, Matt? We did it at your house. That, that was that was a wild show. He just he he sent it. It's good. I was like, just oh, so you know, God. everybody hears this. I forgot <laughs> about that episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. How fucking wild was oh, that? Oh yeah. We And we, he's living in your house now with your kids. No, he he has he's got two kids of his three own. kids of three. His own. Are they living there too? No. No, no they're in Florida, right? He's great with children. Oh, I'm I'm sure he yeah. is. Yeah. I'm sure he is, but I get a I get a, a text from Jared. He's just like, uh, "Hey man, I need a, go a new ghost bed for the house." Yeah. And I was like, "Cool man, I'll, I'll, I'll send me. it." Yeah, it was from you. Yeah, and and he said, uh, "Great, just send me your address and uh, and I'll ship it right on over." I copy and pasted the text without looking at it, and uh, I get an email. Maybe 15 minutes later, he goes, "Hey man, are you joking about sending a, a mattress to a place called Murder Mansion in Texas?" And I was like, "Motherfucker, Jared." <laughs> Didn't even put his real name. He just said, send the bed to Murder Mansion with the fucking address. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. By the way, that woman's name is Jennifer Lynn. She's in Texas somewhere. The woman that from Barnes & Noble. Oh, yeah. Jennifer so, Lynn. Do you know her? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she's in Drinking Bro Singles. 
So is she uh, where in Texas? Which Barnes and oh, Noble? Oh, I don't know. Not at San Antonio, I imagine. No, 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 no. So she's somewhere up north, probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Craig Dulesky says, hey, are we going to the Olive Garden? So this is a... God, Craig Dulesky yeah. says everything. Yeah, yeah. No. He also lives That's in a state all the that doesn't fuck. exist, so shut yeah, the fuck that, up. That, 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 Craig, yeah. Can, can we figure. all get on the same page that Iowa doesn't exist? We, we can. can. Yeah, we can. I'm down with that. Are uh, we all down with that, Aaron? God, I, know, I know where this Olive Garden came from. Thing yeah, yeah came he from. wants to go to all. No, so Jesse, uh, I heard her on the phone at the house the other day, and she was booking a reservation for for next week, next Friday, and I was like, if, being like super whispery about it too, right? And I was like, what are you doing? She's the worst at keeping secrets of any human yeah, being she on is. earth. Yeah. She would have totally blown the fact that I was going to put a donkey in your yard. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I was like, who are you talking to? And she was like, uh, I'm making a, a dinner reservation for for people to come out. You know. If the book is uh, on the New York Times bestseller, and I was like, "Where?" She rented out the back room of Olive Garden for <laughs> <laughs> fuck with you. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, God, oh that's beautiful. God. So I said it on the show. I said, "Look, if nothing else, uh, anybody who's in town here can come party party at Olive Garden if you buy a copy." Maybe of the book that's the next uh, music video. Yeah, Olive Garden. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, look, you... I've got a couple of music. I've got a list of music videos for us over there. Oh, yeah. Shit. Have you guys? So, uh, do you, do you have all your songs prepared yet? Do you have? Not yet. I mean, we. I've got ideas. Yeah, we okay. got ideas. I can't believe we missed this shit. It's it true. true. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys, you guys have already made what? Probably 10, 12 songs already thus far. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a few. Why don't you just? I mean, re- I should release. I actually, an album. I I had watched Safety Briefs music video last night. I hadn't seen that in like three years. I was Fuck, like I mean, laughing yeah. at it. Like, oh, I forgot we we do this and then forget that we do this shit. Fucking Carl, <laughs> man. I I still vote for a sexual country song, Matt. Like. Well, I did whistle. What else do you want? Yeah, uh, whistle is I, the the, kinda... the one we were doing on the show a long time uh, ago. Queef I like, jeans. Well, yeah, oh. I got some queef in my jeans, and yeah. then I like whiskey. I like Trump. I like get my <laughs> dick sucked <laughs> in my fucking truck. That one too. Like, <laughs> just call it. I like whiskey. I like Trump, and then it's all about getting your no, dick, I, dick sucked in a car. I got that queef on my jeans. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would love to do a country song where I pretty much just troll modern country, and I like modern country. Country, but just like how they have pretty much an algorithm built exactly how to build it out and you know the snapping of the fingers and the songs and try it just it's so formulated these days you could do it in two seconds it is i, I was listening to blake shelton's song on the way over here god's country uh it's fucking i really like that song that's actually. fucking oh, awesome God. dude yeah my uber driver had it playing he's like this is my song it is man i'm, yeah. I'm okay. with it in god's country <laughs> yeah that's a uh, big fan of that one no nope. <laughs> but what they do is they've got a writer in nashville who's pumping out hits and then they go to blake first and then everybody else <laughs> so dead serious because you yeah. can market the shit out of that guy yeah uh, I also saw. I just got a lovely text from um, guys from Leroy Petrie, and he sent me a photo of an advert of my face at the exchange in Washington State at uh, Fort Lewis. That's no cool. way. That's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Shout, shout out to Leroy Petrie. Oh, Leroy. If you guys don't know the story. Look him up. Medal of Honor recipient out of Second Ranger Battalion. Um, phenomenal dude, and he actually saved um, at, my, at the time one of my best friend's life, uh, Daniel Higgins. So. Cheers to Leroy. Really? Cheers. Really, yeah. He was also in range 15, by the way, yeah, uh, for anybody he who was. hasn't seen it. He had a very noble role. You know, we were very polite, and uh, <laughs> we made sure that his Aww. character, you know, was of character of him. <laughs> well, I mean, you got a black guy to play me, so I can't imagine how poorly you treated him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we may or may not have blown his good hand off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, the exchange, I talked to somebody at uh, Lewis McCord the other day. The exchange up there is under construction, so... If you guys are going to go, prepare to deal with that bullshit. Well, well, so it, like there's construction. I, I don't know exactly what's going on. There's construction nearby or in the parking lot or some shit like that. So it's kind of a shit show. So if you see it, it's not closed down. It just looks that way. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Did somebody write in and tell you that? Uh, it's a friend of mine that's up there right now. Okay, cool, cool. Nice. That's, that's a good just heads up. Giving the old yeah. heads up, you know. Yeah, a little heady. And I'll be there all by my lonesome. I'll be missing you guys. What, what day is that? That's Thursday. It's Thursday. Shit. So you're 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 in North, uh, New York today, North Carolina tomorrow, and then what do you hop on a flight in the morning? Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. I fly Thursday super morning. early in the morning, six a.m. Um, from Raleigh, to fucking Ooh. Washington State. Man, uh, yeah. that's crazy, man. Uh, the grind, the grind continues. Where are you, where are you after that? Uh, then I fly to Austin to go to clean um, for Fort Hood, and that ends the first leg. But I definitely think we should 
do some off base events, uh, yeah. post this first week and do like a drinking bros meetup, book signing, uh, and just yeah. go to kind of the big cities. It'd be super fun. Get you, that, you, you know, and they were talking about uh, doing something together. You guys are opening up a new Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah, September 28th. Yep. You guys are going to come out for that. We're going to yeah, do a correct. live show. So we'll do a live we got show. A stage out yeah. front. We'll What's the name music. of that place? Black Rifle Bernie, Coffee. Texas. Oh, Bernie. But, Bernie, no, Texas. No, no, it's no. In Bernie. The, there's a gun store right there, too, right? Or something? So it's called Mo- Monachima Firearms mm. on May. Main Street in Bernie, Texas, and the par- the building right a- uh, adjoining it uh, will be a new Black Rifle coffee Sick. shop that we're letting Mason um, to to run. So it'll be grand opening, like Jared said, the 20th September. It's gonna be a fun time. Hope everybody will be out there. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah we're gonna have blast. fun on that one. Yeah, so we'll do a live show. Bring your books. Uh, we'll sign anything. Party. Hang out all day. And, we've started. Uh, we've started creating the fucking uh, roster for the cruise. Like that's gonna be a funny show. Oh, hang on just a second, guys. Yeah. Let me let me. Brad Wilson says, Jared, I would smoke you in a hot dog eating contest. Ah. It depends. It depends. S- speed or, or volume. I'm not a volume guy, but I'll, I'll toast anybody on speed. Yes. You're good under minutes, like a direct yeah. minute count. I've never seen you lose. What about a minute's not enough. Two minutes. We did 90 seconds for the chicken nuggets. So how many can you put down? The chicken nuggets? No, hot dogs. In 90, in 90, 90 seconds? seconds. In 10 minutes, homeboy put down 70. 72? Uh, yes, correct. Uh, he played 70 was, uh, that's too much, man. That's seven. Oh, yeah. that's, that's no fucking way. Seven a minute for yeah. 10 minutes straight. Six. But you should, be able to do, you should be able to do seven a minute. So that should be like, I, I, I would say I could do 10. I could do six a minute. So I could, I could probably do eight, eight ish. 90 uh, seconds. Matt, if you're in uh, if you're out in New York and looking for a dog, go to a place named Griff's up there. That's one of the finest dogs I've ever had. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm good in the whole I think he's, I think thing. he's good. I, I don't think he's like good. Go find Griff. Here's the, here's the beauty of it, right? Yeah. So it's it's uh, you walk down to get in it, um, and then there's a phone booth right to the left, and you're like, why the fuck is there a phone booth inside this hot dog restaurant? You open up the phone door, and then you go through it, and there's a secret bar on the other side. It is literally your fucking field of dreams, Jared. It's hot dog and booze. Yes. So fuck, it's it's I, it's there's a, nothing else I need. I mean, no. You know, or, it's all homemade <laughs> hot dogs that are freshly like, and they have uh, like 90 different options and special phrases. And then, boom, if you know it, you pull the door open. To hot the, dogs, booze, but and cat it, meat. Yeah. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Some cat I mean, meat. If there's a 7-Eleven next door that sells tornadoes, he would never leave that block. Probably not. Probably not. I could, <laughs> I, I could see you really settling down there. Tornadoes and White Claws is like your standard go-to breakfast here lately, right? Yeah. Oh, no, you yeah, went to Taco yeah. Bell this morning. I did. I did. I did. A, I did a talker. We're not getting paid by Taco Bell to say that either. We should be. We're just losing our friend to diabetes. <laughs> because well. of- are we are, are we gaining uh, more of our friend? You know, that's what I like to consider it. Yeah. <laughs> we said we wanted to see more of him, so he's just gaining weight. Yes, yeah. um, <laughs> it's working. Uh, Matthew, uh, thank you for joining us, buddy. I know you're super, super fucking packed today, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thank uh, you for my service. Thank you for my Book. service. Is out everywhere currently. Number three in new releases on Amazon. Number eleven in the world. Number two in nonfiction. Buy a hardback and help us get to number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Anything else you want to say, Matthew? No, just thanks, everybody, for the support. And uh, again, yeah, I'd love to see the reviews. And just I hope you really fully enjoy the book. Uh, Put a lot into it. So thank you guys for the support. Yes. uh, And by the way. And and fuck you, Ross. You're okay, Dan. And Jared, you need to eat healthier. Ah, there you go. He's always always trying to be a father. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's daddy, actually. But whatever. Uh, Whatever. Uh, We love you, buddy. Thanks, man. (laughs) Back at you, guys. Thanks for having me on. All right, bye. Uh, Yeah, so hold up the book one more time, Jared. Holding up the book. There we go, kids. Today's the day. Thank you for my service is out. Hardback. Uh, Go and get it. That is our fastest route to the New York Times Best seller list. It is in bookstores everywhere. Literally, you just walk in. It is 10 feet inside of every bookstore. Uh, they're anticipating big things out of it. And uh, we honestly can't thank you enough. Uh, are we uh, off the live feed, Jamie? No, we're still going. We're still going. We're still going. We're still going. Uh, all right. Well, all right. hey, thanks to all the drinking bros for tuning in. We yeah. love you guys. And, Kill it, Jamie. And thanks for the continued support, drinking bros. Uh, we love you. I appreciate it.